I know I'm a bit late to the party on this, but a few months ago, I think it was back in April, Venom Fang X made a video in which he's pretending to be Magneto from the X-Men. He's such a wiener. And anyway, in this video, he asks, if evolution believes in survival of the fittest, then why would it be morally wrong for us to exterminate the weakest among us in favor of the survival of the strongest among us? Why would it be wrong for us to do what he thinks evolution does and force the weak into extinction. But as with just about everything that Venom Fang X talks about, there are a few things here that he misunderstands. The first thing he misunderstands about evolution is that survival of the fittest does not necessarily always mean survival of the biggest and strongest. Another thing that he misunderstands is that compassion and kindness were not invented by Jesus and Moses. A lot of Christians seem to believe that without Jesus or Moses, these are things that human beings would not have been able to figure out on their own. But on the contrary, compassion is something we are actually genetically predisposed to experience. According to Venom Fang X's interpretation of Darwinism, it is evolutionarily advantageous to be contemptuous of the weak and to try to rid them from your gene pool. The irony, of course, is that we would probably not be as successful as we are as a species if we all thought this way. One of the biggest reasons why we are as successful a species as we are is because we can communicate with each other and cooperate with each other and pool our resources. Compassion for one another enhances these advantages and talents that we have. Compassion is part of what makes us fit for survival. Being the fittest for survival does not always mean being the strongest and most aggressive. According to Venom Fang X's interpretation of evolution, the most advantageous thing that we could do as a species is for us to all act like Nazis. But he doesn't seem to be able to see what should be obvious, which is that if Nazism were really what was best for human survival, Nazism would still be around. There are many cases in which acting excessively aggressive and dominant puts a species at a disadvantage. A species can't survive if its hostility and aggression compromises the health of the ecosystem upon which it depends. Nazism as a political system no longer exists because you can't go around kicking people in the balls without getting kicked back. Nazi Germany lost because Nazism was a political system that was not fit for survival. 